WhatsApp YouTube and WordPress community. In this video, we are going to have a quick overview on WP Event Manager plugin, which is a plugin for seamless event management. So without wasting your time, let's dive right into the video. So WP Event Manager is an all-in-one event management plugin for WordPress. Right now, we are on the website of WP Event Manager. So let's check out some of the most prominent features. So uh, first of all, I would like to mention that this is um, especially user-friendly and easy to use. It offers event search and filters. It has uh, forms that you can uh, create not only from the back end, but also from the front end. So it offers front end management and it is developer friendly, which means that it is coded in a very practical, practical way and with best practices. And let's check out the prominent features, which is fully responsive. It is very important to work with a plugin, which will give you a final product that will be mobile friendly and responsive. It is fully customizable, so it has well-structured add-ons, which will help you to customize all your events without having uh, several plugins, but uh, one you can uh, work with one plugin, which is WP Event Manager and its add-ons. And then it is SEO friendly, which again is a very important aspect. It has field editors, which will let you to collect data for each and every event from the submission forms. So you get the insights that you want about your event attendees. And then it has multiple uh, views, which you can display your events in a stylish way with multiple views, including box view and list view. And then we have freedom to operate with WP Event Manager. What this means is that it allows organizers to submit their listings from the front end and from the back end. So as I've already mentioned, you also as an organizer will have access to easily create events, organizers, venues right from the front end. And then uh, you can preview before you go live with your event, which is again, very important to see how the final product is going to look. It has easy event classification, which means visitors can search and filter events based on their categories and based on their uh, queries. And then it has an if event dashboard, which um, has all the events, um, that you can manage effortlessly from one dashboard. Again, in this dashboard, you can uh, customize your events, add a new event, duplicate events. And we have effective uh, operation, which helps users to create highly functional and attractive event management portal um, with the various settings that WP Event Manager offers and event widgets, which will help you to showcase your event details in widgets and boost uh, effectiveness, which means that with these uh, widgets, you can post your events, not only on your website, but for example, make a post on Facebook about an upcoming event or uh, make a post on any other website, even if it's not a WordPress website. So the widgets work outside the scope of WordPress. And then we have event organizers and venues, which allows to handle multiple events, venues and organizers. So you can classify which event is going to take where the venue and the organizer. And then we have template override, which means you can customize template files as per your requirements without um, affecting uh, the actual plugin settings. So, so you do not have to change in anything in the plugin settings, but you can still uh, do template override. And then we have multilingual translation and support. This is the last um, step that I'm mentioning, but perhaps the most important with WP Event Manager, you will get quick support in um, many different languages, multilingual support. So there is no uh, language barriers with WP Event Manager. And then we have page builder compatibility, which means that uh, WP Event Manager is compatible with Gutenberg and uh, major third party page builders such as Elementor. And then we have Visual uh, Compensor, DV Builder and no developer skills and coder, uh, coding skills are required to set up the events. 
So this is it. Now let's go to the back end and see how you can manage, create an event and what options it offers. So we are now at the front end of an event website that is pretty much operated by WP Event Manager. So most of the, uh, of the configurations are made with the plugin. And now let's quickly have an overview and go to the back end and see how it works. So here, um, as I've mentioned about event dashboard, we have the event dashboard and post an event, which you can post an event from the front end. From the event dashboard, you can literally uh, monitor everything as an organizer. Uh, so you can add a new event, you can download events i calendar you can filter those events and for each and every event you can delete them duplicate them stop them right from the front end from event dashboards and here we have the organizers dashboard and then as you can see uh, same from the organizers so for each and every organizer you can make um, their own like page with description and links um, to the organizer and um, here we have the organizers dashboard right here as well. Let's see how the organizer submit form looks. So basically, this is how the forms look. So right here, if you fill in all this information, you can submit and post a new organizer. And same goes for the venue. So here we have the venue dashboard uh, right here. As you can see, the venue name, details, and by clicking on um, each and every like venue, you get a separate page where you have description and you can uh, totally customize everything that you see right here on this page. So now let's go to the backend and see how the uh, plugin functions. So in the backend, as you can see, I'm in the backend of the My Event platform, which is the backend of the website we have just checked out. And here we have running WP Event Manager and several other add-ons that it has. Let's quickly see how the event management looks in general. So here we have the event listing right here. And in order to create a new event, you just need to click on add new. And once you click on add new, we have the event um, dashboard right here and the back end with all the details that you need to fill in. So here we have the event title. Let's go with VIP event, for example. And then in the description, you have to write your event description. I will just simply miss out this, not to waste time. And then we have event data. So we ha you can configure it whether your event is an online one or an offline on-site event, event location, registration, email URL. And then we have zip code, event banner. So you can upload a banner for your event uh, for it to look good in the front end. Let's quickly upload this one and we will check this event out in the front end and then we have start date of the event end date and correspondingly we have the start time and end time you can also attach a video url if you have any reference of the event that for example maybe took place previously uh, you can attach the url as well and then you have registration deadline so this is the deadline until when people can register for the event and then we have venues so um, as I've mentioned, you can create venues. Uh, so these are the venues that are available right now. And then we have organizers, which we have spoken about. So here again, you can create organizers as well. And then you have registration limit, limit for example, if you have limited uh, spots available or seats available, here you can set the limit. And then event recurrence. So with WP Event Manager, you can make recurring events, which means, for example, if you have an event that takes place every day or every year or every week you do not have to create the same event every time it needs to reoccur you can create one event and then set the reoccurrence to daily weekly monthly or yearly basis and uh, based on your configurations it will automatically run uh, during the days that you set the event and then we have attend the information collection type so you can collect information of the buyer only uh, or of the registered person only or all the attendees. For example, if one person bought four tickets, you can uh, get information for all the four people that are coming to your event. This is very important to be able to um, have the insights that you need. 
and then we have uh, attending information to collect this again is customizable you can uh, add registration form fields uh, with WP event manager and then we have uh, expiry date when your event is going to expire and um, if this is a zoom meeting or webinar you can select that as well and uh, I would like to uh, pay a quick attention on the tickets. So with WP Event Manager, you can create events with sell tickets. Uh, so this is done with the sell tickets add-on uh, by WP Event Manager. So basically what you need to do, you need to click on, for example, pay ticket right here and start configurating your ticket, add a ticket. Here we have a ticket name, let's call it VIP. And then we have, uh, uh, number of tickets so for example we have 100 tickets and then we have ticket price let's set it to 200 for example and then you can uh, write down ticket description if needed um, here we have uh, fees so you can um, attach fees to the price per your country's um, countries like fees and policies and then we have uh, you can make the ticket either public or private and then you can set the minimum number that person can get and then set the maximum number for example per attendee can get only five tickets and then we have sales start date and sales end date uh, and again let's configurate this to see just to see how it looks in the front end you can set also ticket priorities and you can also select a zoom meeting or webinar if this is an online ticket and you just need to click on save all tickets and uh, let's quickly publish this event and see how it looks again you can customize this remember that I just try to make it as quick as possible so here as you can see in the front end we have made it um, we made the event live and here is the banner so if you have written a description that sh should also appear right here so as you can see for this event i cannot really um buy a ticket because the registration is already closed because we have set a registration deadline earlier in the um configuration section so this is pretty much it. I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section down below. I will leave all the links to WP Event Manager in the description down below. And uh, you can check out their YouTube channel and see uh, very detailed step-by-step uh, -step tutorials on how you can use the plugin. So you might also want to check that out. And this is pretty much it. So this was it for our today's tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions concerning the plugin, you can leave them in the comment section down below, as I have already mentioned. And do not forget to show your love by subscribing to our YouTube channel and hitting your notification bell for upcoming tutorials. See you soon. Bye.